This video demonstrates several methods to overcome the technical difficulties in sampling chorionic relay from posteriorly located placenta. Nowadays, chorionic relay sampling is a safe procedure. The procedure related fetal loss is less than 0.5%. When the placenta is located at the anterior uterine wall, it is easily approachable. However, when it is lying on the posterior wall, it may be technically challenging. In some cases, where the placental margin reaches the lateral wall, firm downward pressure by the ultrasound probe may help to displace the adjacent bound and create a window for transabdominal CVS. With a limited window of access for transabdominal CVS, there is a risk of failure, puncturing through the anotic membranes, or even injuring the maternal bowel. Here we suggest several ways to overcome these difficulties. Technique 1. The serious needle can firstly enter the malmetrium at a lower angle to avoid hitting the maternal bowel. After entering the malmetrium, the needle can be tilted more vertically so as to enter the placenta without damaging the amniotic membrane. This video illustrates the technique. Firstly, inject the local anesthetics to the abdominal wall. Insert the serious needle into the malmetrium carefully avoiding puncturing the bowel or overshooting into the amniotic cavity. Afterwards, tilt the needle more vertically so that the needle tip is directed towards the posterior placenta. Technique 2. Sometimes the uterus is anti as shown in this sagittal ultrasound view. The posterior placenta becomes very vertical in orientation. A push from the back of the uterus may injure the bowel over there. In this situation, we may ask the patient to drink some water. Subsequently, the urinary bladder distends and pushes the uterus to rotate backwards and displace the bowel away. The placenta also becomes more oblique in orientation, which is more suitable for the insertion of the serious needle under ultrasound guidance. Here shows an example of the effect of bladder filling. When the bladder is almost empty, the uterus is anti and the posterior placenta is vertical. After the bladder has become full, the uterus is rotated backwards and the placenta changes to oblique in orientation. Another solution is to further anti the uterus, and then insert the serious needle through the fundus. Firstly, we locate the ultrasound probe to the posterior fundal region. Press on the back of the uterus firmly, so that it is rotated forward. The bowel is also pushed away. The serious needle can then be inserted to the placenta through the fundal region safely. Here shows the changes of the ultrasound images after relocating the ultrasound probe to the back of the uterus. Continuous firm pressure is required to maintain the position of the uterus. The posterior placenta is then under the abdominal wall and is accessible for CVS. To insert the needle in this direction, care must be taken to not overshoot the posterior uterine wall. These two images compare the orientation of the uterus and the placenta before and after further anti of the uterus. You can also observe the change in the uterine cervical angle. Lastly, is to do CVS transcervically. This slim, long, curved, and flexible biopsy forcep is designed for this purpose. The pincer at the tip is for extracting a piece of villous tissue. When compared to transabdominal wood, transcervical CVS is associated with a slightly higher risk of miscarriage. In situations 
where the fetus is very suspicious of abnormality or where early genetic diagnosis is desirable, the transabdominal wood is not feasible because of posterior location of the placenta, then transcervical CVS can be considered. Under a septic technique and the ultrasound guidance, the forceps is inserted through the cervical canal to the placenta. It is usually not difficult to pass through the soft graphic cervix. The direction of insertion may need fine adjustment along its path. In summary, the techniques include 1. Adjusting the angle of insertion after entering the malmetrium. 2. Filling the bladder to rotate the uterus backward. 3. Anti-facing the uterus to turn the posterior uterine wall upwards. 4. Transcervical CVS with biopsy forceps. Thank you for watching. To learn more about the techniques and phytotherapy, you are invited to join the diploma course in phytotherapy, organized by the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology, the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Please refer to our website or social media platforms for more details. You can also contact us by WhatsApp or WeChat to make a clinical appointment or refer patients to us.